Hello everybody, welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, my name is Kim. Um, welcome. Now then, uh, today we're going to be using this uh, Velvet 3D Effect Flock HTV Vinyl. So it looks like this. It's quite thick, all right? Um, I've got a couple of sheets here. I only purchased two sheets. We've got a pink and a white. We're going to lay it down on this side when we cut it we're going to lay this side down so this is the peelable side you can feel the difference it's sort of like a it's the both shiny both sides but you can see the difference it's more lumpy on the side that's going to be cut now the other day or was it last week i used some of the puffed htv vinyl and this turned out really well and i really do like it i haven't used the pink yet but i used the white so pop back and watch that video it's nice stuff and it does give it a good effect uh, that video is i'll put a link down below for that one if you can't find it um to, so today we're going to get on and we're going to have a look at how this turns out we're going to be trying some of this velvet fill 3d htv vinyl all right um i have my design in mind and it's going to be i heart coco something like that all right and i'm going to do the writing with this and the heart with that so let's get on with the job at hand and i'm going to get cracking i'm going to cut my design out and then we'll go from there i'm also going to be using my new cricut heat press which i just bought a nine by nine easy press two from Cricut and see how that turns out. It'll be the first time I've used it. So without further ado, let's get on with the job at hand. Okay, so I've cut my vinyl out. Now you probably can't see it in the camera, but what I'm gonna try and say to you is that it feels quite matte on the side that we're going to lay flat onto the cutting mat, all right? And this side feels, um, it's hard to explain, slightly textured. You can only just sort of make it out. Anyway, excuse my nail polish. I am in the middle of taking it off. So we'll pop that on there. And same goes for this piece here. Okay. So there we have our vinyl. I'm going to be using my Cricut Joy today. Um, we're going to pop this in here. Now I've set my um, pressure to instead of default i've set it to more because it's quite a thick vinyl um we'll see how it turns out i'm hoping fingers crossed it will be good if not we'll just go over it one more time it should be fine right all finished okay let's see Right, we're gonna have a go at weeding this now i actually had to do it twice so let's have a look it says it's pretty easy to weed so we'll see won't we not too bad actually Heart. It feels very nice and velvety. this one and I'm going to be keeping this one myself now I want to get my design relatively in the right place so let's just pop that to one side a minute I'm gonna 
for this here, for this um, velvet HTV vinyl, we're going to be setting the heat press for 150 and I'm going to do it for 20 seconds. Now, it does state that you can have the temperature from 150 to 160 and you press for 15 to 30 seconds. Now, I'm going to go mid, so I'm going to do 20 seconds and I'm going to do 150. So, please... Um, Check your instructions and make sure you're, because they all differ, everything's different, all right? So make sure that you've got the correct settings for what you are going to be pressing your vinyl at, okay? It's a little bit of a thready piece there. Take that off. If you want to know where I got this design from, it's from Cricut Design Space. What I want to do is I want to preheat our shirt first. Okay, so we'll just give that a quick dry off there okay and we're gonna get our rolly brush and just take off any excess fluff and then we're gonna get our I like it about there I know where the center of my shirt is um, you can choose to do yours however you want to do it. I'm going to bring that over there. I want the design centred rather than the heart. Take that out. Now, I'm guessing that's where I would like my design to be. All right. Now I'm going to get my Cricut press and we're going to apply pressure for 20 seconds. So we've got to change the timer. 20. Okay, and we're going to lift this up and we're going to do these two first. So we'll pop that one out of the way. All right, get the timer going. And really, we should have put a um, Teflon sheet down, that would have been better, but we'll do that for the next one because that will protect this as well. Take that off. There. And we've got to let it cool down before we peel it. Okay. Um, now we're going to do this one here. And this time we're going to pop the Teflon sheet on just to see if there is a difference. Okay. Starting to cool off now. Take that off. Okay. Let that one cool off a bit. Now we can peel this off. Now it needs a bit longer because it's still sticking. So I'm going to lay that on and we're going to go over this one first but we're not going to do the full 20 seconds we'll do another 10 seconds okay then we'll start on this one here and do that for another 10 seconds that again oh. okay all right cool again okay so it's always best to wait for this stuff to cool down preferably completely all right so there you go is that one oh, it's not too bad actually let's peel it off wow look at how look at how bright that is let's peel this off I'm really pleased with how that turned out and it has like a texture, like a velvet feel to it. Yeah, look at that. Isn't that nice? That 
turned out really well, don't you think? Lovely. So my advice would definitely be with this vinyl, which I purchased from eBay. I had it at 150 and I did it for 20 seconds. But my advice would be stick to 160 and do it for 30 seconds. OK, that's what I would do next time. Um, and then let it cool down completely before you attempt to pull it off. OK, so then it should come away lovely. But that looks really nice, looks really vibrant. I love the pink. It really stands out. Lovely. Thank you for watching. If you enjoyed the video, please give it a thumbs up and I will see you again in the next video. I wonder what's next. So that turned out quite well, didn't it? Look at that, look. Isn't that nice? It's really nice and vibrant. I love it. I really like that. There we go. <laughs> it's got this like velvet feel to it. Also, um, for those of you that uh, watched my one of my previous videos about the mental health sweatshirts, uh, I made a big, big boo-boo on them because I, well, I don't know what possessed me. I, ha I had 49 in my mind and I told everyone they were £49. I also put it on my Etsy shop at £49. And I have no idea why I did that because they're actually £29 or £29.95. So I've changed all that now, but I can't go back to the other video and I can't really change it there. So I'm hoping that those of you that did watch that video are now watching this video. It doesn't matter anyway, because I'm sure if they want to go and have a look, then they're going to see that they are reduced in price. I don't know what I was thinking. Like a lot of you know, my head's all over the place at the minute. I have been through a lot in the last few months. Right. So all that said and done, I think that's it. Going to leave it at that. Check out my Etsy shop. Check out some of the links below. I will put the link to the other video down below as well. For those of you that don't search back through my videos, but that will be down below. And that's using the 3D Puff HTV vinyl. Uh, and it really is nice. I do like the 3D Puff stuff. There we go. All done. Finished. Finito. Right, I'm going to go. I hope you enjoyed the video. I hope you enjoyed watching all these different tryouts with all these different types of vinyl. So today, like I said, it's like a velvet, 3D velvet vinyl. And it is very effective and it does feel really nice. It feels not lovely and soft. And I, I really like that. It's quite vibrant. Right. I'm gonna go. These sweatshirts are so good. They're really good quality. They're like heavy, thick, and warm inside, cozy. So these are the sweatshirts that I'm using for my mental health sweatshirts. One minute, I think my husband's downstairs. I think he's fallen asleep and he's snoring his head off because I can hear him all the way up the stairs. See you in a minute. Well, he fell asleep watching the football and I went downstairs and I woke him up and I said, uh, didn't you want to watch the football then? And he's like, what football? What football? Really? What football? You've just been watching football for the last over an hour. Anyway, um, so today I decided that I was going to buy a Cricket heat press and I'm really glad that I bought it because it's like, it's a raspberry colour. It's like, um, it's square, it's raspberry, it's like, it's called the raspberry one actually. Oh, there we go, look, it comes in that box there, you know what I mean? Like, and um, it, it says here, it says new and it says it gets hotter. So I, I, I reckon that that means that it gets hotter than the other one did. What do you reckon? Do you reckon that's right? Because I do. It's nine inches by nine inches. Nine inches, I tell you. That's quite good. That's a good three inches off of 12, you know. And we all know what 12 inches is, don't we? Some of us more than others. It says here, iron on success in 60 seconds or less. 
60 seconds or less, I tell you, this piece of machinery is beginning to look a lot more like, I'm not going to say it because you, you got to watch what you say these days. You're not allowed to say things that might upset people. And, you, you know, you don't really know who you're going to upset because the majority of the time you're going to upset somebody because that is what happens, isn't it? Yeah, there's quite a lot of projects on there. I like that. Oh, I like that. I bet they've got that one on cricket. I bet you they have. Because it's made by a cricket, I reckon all their projects up there, like, I reckon they're all on cricket design space. And I only paid £119 for it. They had a sale on, you know? A sale. It's quite posh, actually. And it doesn't take up much room either. Thank you for watching. And please give this video a thumbs up because that's much appreciated. I really do like it when you give a thumbs up. Anyway, I'm going to go now because... I have got to get on and do some other things. So I'll see you later. Yes, goodbye. Yeah, goodbye. See you later. Ciao, love. Bye.